Well, we're going to conduct a little experiment here today, listening to Morse code from a receiver and uh, listening to it uh, as a sort of a square wave, or at least a highly clipped wave. And the idea will be to determine if the code is easier to hear and easier to decode in the, the old brain. And just uh, appreciate you listening and giving your opinions. So quick rundown. Uh, the output of the uh, receiver is going directly into this old tube type audio output transformer. It's going into the low impedance side, which I think is around 8 ohms, maybe 4 ohms. And then it comes out um, probably 10, 15,000 ohms. And uh, then we're going into some cables here. And uh, of course, uh, we're tapping into those cables and feeding this into a, a little audio amplifier here. The reason for that is that the transformer uh, mismatches the impedance <coughs> for a speaker. You, so you can't go directly to a speaker. You have to, to sort of amplify it. Uh, <coughs> And uh, and then we have a uh, scope here to show the waveform. And this is a uh, RCA plug. And inside are two back-to-back -back Schottky diodes. Schottky diodes have a, a very low forward current, uh, forward voltage requirement to, to make them conduct which is ideal for this setup. Uh, you can use 1N34 germanium or whatever, but these will work a bit better. And they're just hooked back to back and then across the plug. It's all there all is to it. And uh, so I can plug this in and then unplug it and show you the difference. Uh, so let's tune across the band. By the way, this amplifier I'm using here is a little hissy. But uh, I don't have any microphone other than the uh, camera phone I'm using here. And the reason is I sort of wanted to simulate what it would sound like uh, at a, about the same distance that my, my ears are. And that way it takes into consideration the uh, room acoustics, which are rather dead anyway. But So... Uh, this is a fairly strong signal here. So I'm going to put the uh, diode clipper on here. You can see the waveform is not quite a square wave, but it's close. It's sort of rounded on the corners. That's about as good as you're going to get with a pair of diodes. This guy's a little weaker. As you can see, the diode cuts way down on the uh, amplitude, but due to the nature of a square wave, it actually sounds louder.
Let's see, we'll find somebody else here. It's maybe weaker. Here's a DX station running a little pile up somewhere. By the way, this this is 40 meters at about 4.30 in the afternoon. All right, let's get ready to put this on. Let's see if we can find somebody else here. Well, the idea here is to try to copy the code and see if it improves your ability to copy the code. Uh, I know that it does sound distorted, and of course that's exactly what it's doing. It is limiting the peaks of the waves and thus converting it to a near square wave waveform. So it does sound different. So without our uh, diodes, it's soft, soothing, but is it as easy to copy?
So there you have it. That's all for now. And I appreciate your um, opinions, input down below here, 73.